Hey guys, it is Kiki here. Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I hope you subscribe. Once you subscribe, you become a member of the Pride. We're all lions and lioness here at Racing Our Main. So once you subscribe, you join the Pride. And y'all, I got some faux locks in today. Come on, baby. I got the faux locks. Oh man, if y'all been with me since my loose natural days, y'all know I say with some type of faux locks, crochet faux locks, I did it all. Like faux locks was my style. And I'm so excited to be able to do it again. Like I've been hesitant on doing it on my real hair, but this wig, this is a wig y'all. This is a wig. This wig has changed the game for me. Oh my God. So we're gonna get into all of the details about how I installed this unit, what type of hair it is, where it's from, all that jazz. And y'all, it was a little struggle, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I've got a big head with big hair. So I'm definitely gonna show you my mistakes and how I attempted to fix those. So make sure you stay tuned. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe while you're at it don't forget about that go ahead and follow me on social media too because i'm pretty active on both instagram and tiktok so if i'm not on here i'm on there but yes y'all without further ado let's get into the video all right guys we are going in with our wig our got to be glue spray the freezing spray and then a edge brush and our got to be glue styling gel as well as scissors so this is the wig here this is a lace front wig 13 by 6 inches the cap size is medium the color is 1b and this is a waist length hair wig and then baby hairs are sparse and as you can see i'm just trying to size the wig on my head trying to get a feel of where it's gonna sit and honestly i'm getting right now that this wig is gonna be a little bit too small for my hair so um i am just gonna make it work i gotta make it work so i'm going in with my wig cap and i'll show you guys my um, braiding pattern a little bit later but i'm just going around my perimeter of my edges with the freezing spray and then i will go in to blow dry it I had my blow dryer set to medium heat. I didn't think it was necessary for high heat, especially how close I was to my scalp. Definitely don't want to burn yourself, so I do suggest medium heat. But I did go back in with another layer of the freezing spray, just to make sure the wick cap is as secure as it could be. And then I go in to blow dry once more. now it is time to cut my ear holes out <laughs> and this is my first time installing a unit this way so bear with me i am still learning in this uh process as far as the you know the ball cap look with your wig cap so bear with me again on that because i am trying um but here's this me cutting the holes around my ears and i'm going in with my black radiance ebony powder just to press that into the perimeter and i did cut it off camera because i wanted to make sure i was doing it as perfect as possible um, but as you can see i'm going in to just trim up any areas that are still lifting up and so that way it could give that flatter look And here's a glimpse of the inside of the cap. We've got two combs on each side as well as one at the nape of the neck, adjustable bands. And then we've also got this hook here, which allows you to make sure it's secure on your head. Now I am trying to put this on again. Uh, this is my first attempt in installing this unit. I am going to be going in for a second attempt because I just had a lot of trouble installing this first attempt. So. I'm gonna show you my mistakes, um, but here we are just trying to line it up. Uh, again, being that the wig cap was too small for my head, it made it a little bit more challenging to lay down the unit, but here I go. I'm just going in with another round of the freezing spray and clearing up any excess with a rag. And this is where I believe I made my mistake. I should have did the entire perimeter and not even that. I think I should have laid the entire lace down before I cut the lace 
like I think that would have made it a much more smoother application um, and being that I didn't do that I'm only going in on one side right now with the glue I think I should have went on both sides with the glue I think it just would have made it a lot easier if that makes sense but here I am on the other side and then I'm just trying to pull that up because she just was not budging guys she wasn't budging so here I am struggling I do apologize <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted you guys to see my fails and my success. I don't want you to just see my success. I want you to see my fails. Because I do believe I make up for it in the end of this video. Um, but here I am just trying to secure it and I'm not having it. So I honestly took it off and just breathed and went back to it the next day. So here I am <laughs> just cleaning my edges. I like to clear any makeup out of the way because I just feel like it gets really messy with makeup and trying to lay a wig but here is my braiding pattern but I actually did not braid I flat twist it I feel like it creates the same amount of volume if I flat twist versus braid but um, I will have to verify that and plus the flat twists are a lot more comfortable when I braid I can feel locks pulling and you know I don't like pulling or tension or anything like that so I prefer the flat twist method but here I am, I didn't have a wig cap on this time because it did have combs in there. So I was like, let me try it with the combs in place and then to do it with no wig cap. This probably isn't the best method for my edges, but I didn't have any tension on my edges. Um, and then plus when I removed it, I did so very carefully with water as well. So now of course that we've got it late, I'm going back in with my blow dryer just to make sure everything is setting. And I did not stop until I felt like everything was late. And it took a little while but I was okay with that. Uh, and when I say a little while, maybe like two minutes. <laughs> I'm over exaggerating but here I am taking out my edges because we are going to go in and comb those out just to make sure that they're detangled and then I'm gonna go in to cut them and I believe I did cut them a little bit longer than what I should have so in the end I did adjust them off camera but we're going in with the got to be glue gel and then just slicking them down I started out with my comb but did not like how it was turning out so I switched over to my edge tool and as you can see it started to look a little bit better I always swoop my edges in this form, this pattern, but being that this is a wig, I wanted to do something a little bit more drastic, like bold and, you know, just drastic with my edges since I don't usually do them this way. But I did go off camera and kind of cut them down a little bit because I did feel in some areas they were just a tad bit too long. So I fixed the remaining edges off camera, but I'm just going in to show you how I fixed the top. It was definitely too long, so I cut it almost in half and just ended up slicking them in a nice little swoop. This is usually how I do my own edges, um, but I like how this looked better than before because they were definitely too long. But this is my finished result. Uh, this is what she is looking like. I think she turned out great, uh, being that this is my first lock wig or braided wig. Now, they come down past my tailbone, literally into the center of my booty cheeks. <laughs> but look at the scalp. I love how that looks. I didn't have to do anything to this unit. But now I'm not the biggest fan of the back because it's kind of sparse back there. It's kind of sparse. When I have my locks, I like everything to be full. I don't like any gaps. But there was a lot of gaps in the back, as you can see. And eventually you'll see it when I turn around. But other than that, the wig looks great. And this is what I'm talking about. The sparseness. Like, it's literally like 10 locks in the back. Not the biggest fan of that. But otherwise, I do love the unit. I am going to show you a couple of different styles here of what I do. I'm just taking a section up here in the front. And I'm just going to put it into a ponytail. And this is my half up half down style. I do love the parts. They look very realistic. And I don't like how much hair is at the top. It's just more hair at the top than at the back, which makes the wig look very bulky. 
but I am just gonna twist it into a top knot up here and that is the next style. Overall, I do love this unit. Um, it definitely gives you the faux lock style without having to sit there for hours to achieve it. But as I did the 360, you can just see the sparseness. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but I do figure out a couple of styles to compensate for that. So I'm just doing a low bun, half up, half down style. And I think it looks a lot better this way, in my opinion. As y'all do the 360, you can see. This is one of my favorite styles on this unit. And I'm just gonna do another low buns, well, low ponytail style, but I left a little bit more hair down in the back. And I'm just gonna put that in a ponytail and this is my favorite as well. And as you can see in the upcoming clip, there's only one lock in that area and it's such a large area so I try to conceal that with the other locks around but there's just not a lot of locks in the back. But other than that, this is definitely my favorite style on this unit. As you can see, I'm definitely feeling it. I love the scalp. Let's get a close up of her. But let's go ahead and get into my thoughts and opinions. All right, guys. And y'all, that is the end of the installation. So as I mentioned earlier, I did have struggles with installing this unit. I do not think it's big head friendly. Um, I've got a big head with big hair, so I'm still in the works of trying to figure out how to get my hair as flat as possible under these wigs because I'm liking the switch up. And y'all, I love switching up my hair. It has been a challenge for me during this lock journey because I haven't, like I said, if you've been with me for a long time, I literally used to change my hair like day and night like that's how much I change my hairstyle so being able to install these units are a nice change for my locks you know just to see something different play around with different styles so I do like that about this wig it's giving me the thick lock look y'all know I love some thick chunky locks honey mm, part of me wants to do a thick lock journey I don't know but that's for a different video but y'all I think it turned out great in the end uh, I am having some struggle on the sides here of keeping the unit flat and secure but i tried to conceal that with the baby hair area going on right there but i wasn't gonna probably be wearing this hair up all around my face like all of it up regardless so i think it still looks great like i love how the parting is you don't have to do anything extra to this unit like it's already done for you i'm here for that but again i don't think it's big head friendly the biggest cap size was a medium i believe um so that's what i had to get usually i would get a cap size large because you know we gotta you know fit up under here but yeah other than that the wig is a one it doesn't shed obviously because it's locks I love the length it comes down all the way down to the booty love that like I'm here for some long locks I can say the locks are kind of heavy this wig is actually kind of heavy I'm not gonna lie cuz I've never had locks like this like the wrap locks and stuff before it's always been like a crochet lock so crochet locks are a lot lighter than you know the traditional wrapping lock but other than that I don't have anything else bad about this wig beginner friendly wig hands down you don't have to pluck you don't have to bleach like everything is a one for me up here I love how this looks like it looks clean you know I love some crispy parts I probably could have did my baby hair is a little different but I actually like this big swoop right here in the front like she's laid this looks like my hair coming out of my scalp, baby. I, I like this wig. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. Especially if you want to change your look up and you don't want to actually spend the time to do individual locks. This is a great substitute. Get this wig because, honey, I've always wanted a lock wig or like a braided wig. And y'all, this is changing the game right now. But yes, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much, Neat and Sleek, for sponsoring this video. I hope y'all enjoyed the looks that I gave you. And y'all, let me know if you buy this wig down below. All links in the description box, so that way if you want to, they're there for your access. Leave any questions, comments, concerns down below, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Bye.